We're here now in our finished goods warehouse, which is blessedly air conditioned. This is where we have, we store all of our goods that are uh, waiting to be sold. They're all finished. We are not adding any more cost to them. So for our statement of finished goods, we're going to start with our beginning inventory. This is everything that we had that was already finished at the beginning of the uh, period. Um, we can either count them up or because we are smart accountants, we know last period's ending inventory is this period's beginning inventory, right? When I close the doors on the 30th, unless gremlins come and steal it all, what was there when I closed the door on the 30th is the exact same thing that's sitting there waiting for me on the first. So last period's ending inventory, this period's beginning inventory. All right, so we have our beginning inventory and finished goods. We add to that anything we finished during the period. What do we call that? Cost of goods manufactured. So I just pulled these out of the kiln. They have left whip in this period. They're called my cost of goods manufactured and they, we add them to our uh, finished goods inventory. Okay, our beginning inventory plus cost of goods manufactured, which is finished products moved from whip into finished goods this period, becomes our cost of goods or our uh, finished goods available for sale. Okay, remember we can't sell what we don't have. So this is everything that we could possibly sell this period. And then one of two things is going to happen. Either we're going to sell this or we're not. This is the one we're not gonna sell, okay? So once we have cost or finished goods available for sale, then we can either take an inventory and count up everything that didn't get sold and that's our ending inventory for finished goods and everything else is cost of goods sold, or we can count up what we sold and everything else is uh, finished goods ending inventory. Our ending inventory is going to go onto our balance sheet. So, remember our balance sheet is going, inventory, the inventory account on our balance sheet is going to be made up of three sub accounts for lack of a better word. Our raw materials ending inventory, our whip ending inventory, and our finished goods ending inventory. And those are three separate accounts. We're gonna actually list them, a lot of times we'll list them on the face of the balance sheet, okay? A lot of students get them mixed up, think they're all the same, they're three separate things. Raw materials ending inventory from the statement of raw materials, uh, the whip ending inventory from the statement of manufacturing costs, I think that's what we're calling it, and the finished goods inventory from the statement of finished goods. Those three go on our balance sheet. For the mug or the tumblers that we sell, put it in the box, ship it out, and it becomes cost of goods sold. At this point, the costs are transferred from the balance sheet, from the inventory account, to the income statement as cost of goods sold. All right, if you remember back to your FOB, if it's FOB shipping a point, as soon as we send it off, we can uh, expense it as cost of goods sold. If it's FOB destination, then we have to wait till it arrives. Luckily, we're not screwing around with that this semester. So as soon as we ship it, we're transferring it out of finished goods and into the income statement as cost of goods sold. 